and action! We are back. Episode how, four. How are your lips feeling? We were just talking about <laughs> lip gloss. My lips are so fucking dry. Mine are falling off. Of I am sun. like getting so dark by like every, by seconds. Yeah, me too. Every single yeah. day, I'm black. Yeah, and that's okay. And I love it. I love tan too. I and that's so bad. I love the sun. It's so bad. No. It's the worst thing we could do, but I feel invigorated. I feel strong. Listen, do whatever makes you feel good. If the mm-hmm. sun makes you feel good, you lay out in the sun. Yeah, but the fatigue that I feel working out like a man in the sun right. is real. Yeah, but you sleep like a baby. Uh, well, I haven't been sleeping lately. I gotta be honest with you. I can't even believe that we're moving. I know, we're 15 days away from moving. moving. Big changes. changes. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so episode three is not something I'm entirely proud of. Okay, I'm gonna bring the camera real close. First of all, I can't believe, <laughs> first of all, okay, you guys need to understand something. We were supposed to be going out to a really nice dinner yes. tonight. And the got plans canceled. got changed, they got canceled. And the funny thing, I was just telling Magda, I was just telling you in the kitchen that things are starting to open up and we don't want to go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to go anywhere. I loved our time. We adapted. And quickly. Quickly. We did well. Yeah. Both of us. Well, it's been almost three months, so. Has it been? It's, yeah, it has been. Two full months. Two two full months. Um, But I had a lot of time to think about what matters and I love our time together. That's why I love it. We had time. And we created this show. It's time that I will cherish forever. Yeah. Really. And a lot of food. A lot of food, a lot of good food, a lot of love. A lot of yoga. A lot of yoga. A lot of yoga. <laughs> lot of yoga. So how's that going? The Zoom's awesome. It's incredible. Incredible. And if you guys are watching, if you take my classes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's it. It's gratitude. Yes. That's what it yes. is. It's, it's going so well. It's Mimi Yoga. Um, so it's every Saturday. Every Saturday is a big group class. Okay. And how many houses was the biggest one? Like 80 people? 83. That doesn't suck. 83. Wow, that that's doesn't amazing. suck. Oh, no, that's amazing. changing set up. Amazing. It's, it's so you're like a, an entrepreneur. <laughs> like you really did kill it, didn't you? Well, I mean, I think life is changing for everybody, but for people like you and me, and me, uh, this COVID thing really did. Yeah, we hustled, Magda. You know, and I didn't stop. And we, we we find a way. It's in our nature, and I've always found a way since I was a little kid. I love to work. And now I'm doing something that I love, like yoga, you know, like I just love it. Yeah, but I think the word is hustle. I, I love when I see someone, I mean, I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but it makes me happy to see another human being succeed. Yeah. I don't get like, God, I wish I was me. I say, go ahead, go, right. oh, right. kill it. And that makes me uh, excited for them. And anything else it would be uh, very, um, it's, it's inspiring. It, you know, it, 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 helps yes. you, it helps you push harder and work harder for yourself. We rise yeah. by lifting Absolutely. others. I feel, I feel, I, and I've been lifting a hundred percent since I was a little girl. hundred percent. And I can't imagine not, not helping another human being on their way up to wherever they're going. Um, however I can help. I mean, that's my question to you is how can I help you? Uh, oh, you're doing that? How can I help you? Every day you ask me that question. And it's, it's important. Last night I had dinner with a man, another man. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So every episode we have, there's another man, the mystery man, Mr. Gray and Miss Oof. (laughs) Oof. Or Mr. Big. Oof. Oof. (laughs) I mean, it was so cool because they're all getting better. Like it's it's a different level. And at my age, that's pretty cool, you know. I mean, he has to be smart to be with me. He can't be. Why do you keep saying at my age? You're so young. I am. I'm Your 48. Life is just starting. Oh, I'm just learning how to crawl. Your life is just starting. Well, it actually is just starting. My second act, um, because I'm moving. Yes. <laughs> and I feel like uh 
That's so exciting. That's just so exciting. It's amazing. It's really and I get amazing. to create my own. Oh, and then Kathy has this Bridget Bardot painting that okay, I'm obsessed with Bridget Bardot. Yeah. I didn't realize she had that. And then I said to Roman, I'm getting a huge wall size Bridget. And he goes, Really? And I go, Roman, I've been obsessed with Bridget Bardot. It's incredible that that, that, thing, that oh, photo, God. that poster. I it's know gorgeous. It's so but beautiful. Bridget is like the epicenter of sexy. Man. That yeah. lady is like she's fire. Just, she's just sexy. Yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah. I love her. And I'm going to do that. I already got the painter, the handyman. Amazing. I got everything ready. ready. <laughs> no, I'm so ready. And then I'm trying to offer up everything, and that's always same. Fun. I've been offering up every single day. I'm offer playing. up is a big garage sale. It's incredible. It's very cool. It really works. Remember when you were over last Sunday and you're like, "Yeah, post it, post it, post." I'm like, "Well, it's not gonna sell. Let me just give it away. Let me find someone to come right. and pick it up." And honestly, I've been posting every day. <laughs> it's exciting. It's exciting. It's addicting. Yeah, it, it is. is. And and it's, it's purging. Cleansing. Yeah. No, like really, and we love purging because we love Task Happy by Tony. Yes, and she's like taught me different levels of purging. Um, and if you're ever cleaning your house or want to make cash from your trash, Tony is the lady to call TaskHappyByTony.com. And what a website! By the way, I'm revamping my website. Yes, I so can't wait. wait. You're so, I can't <laughs> wait. I've had that weird website for like five years. What I mean by weird is that. It wasn't user-friendly, and now we don't do business cards. We don't do anything. It's just, here's my Instagram, and... Your business card is your Instagram. It, it, 100%. Your portfolio uh, 100%. is your Instagram. Uh, 100%. Yeah. Remember when they used to do for models? You know I was a model. I did not know that. I'm not surprised. Okay. I was a model. Uh, first job was, I was eight, and it was for Coca-Cola. And then the second job was for some French company and they flew me away to this island uh, in like a puddle jumper plane with my pretend mom and my pretend dad. And it was beautiful that, it was beautiful that ad. It was like a series of ads. It was like a, a French uh, Macy's. Uh -huh. And I did like commercials and stuff, but then I stayed short. Yeah. And so, <laughs> if it wasn't for teeth, hey, Kate Moss. Yeah, hello, but Kate. Yeah, but Kate Moss is she's a stick, short, but she's a stick. Yeah, but right now, anyone can model. Mm. I gotta be honest with you. I feel like I bring so much value, much more than looking the part. As a matter of fact, it really bothers me when someone. It really does when someone judges someone by the way they look. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. There's so much more to a human being than I that. know, but you know what? It's it's like it's like a first reaction, you know, for all humans. When you see someone, immediately you you you, you judge them, and then you talk to them, and you're like, okay. Mm -hmm. I think conversation is you know, so it's awesome. very important. And then when you when you meet models, they're like, it really is very important. I mean, I'm not I'm not I'm not generalizing, but I think conversation is so attractive. I think, of course. And, and if you can't talk to someone and they can't talk about human no, connection. Well, I think, and also pheromones. Do you believe in pheromones? What's that? <laughs> okay, so pheromones. You put me on the spot. Is a, uh, wait, what's that? I love pheromones, and pheromones don't lie. They okay. So there is something about, like you know, chemistry. Uh huh. Um, when you meet someone, something flies off of them. Yeah, so chemistry. Okay. It's so it, it's it's a it's a I'm a, hormone. I'm a big believer in chemistry. And your pheromones will attract men, will attract uh friends, will attract Women. business. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like when you see someone, like what you just said, initially see them. It's your energy. Yeah, yes. It's your energy. And so this little 100%. thing called pheromones will make a man do anything. And will make a woman do anything. And I want you to read up about this because it's, I believe that there are pheromones that make you do everything. I felt that once for my ex-husband. Yeah. Once. I never felt that. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I so did. I never felt that. I'm going to feel it. Where is it? You're going to feel it. Give it to me. You're going to feel it. Ew. Mosquito. I know. 
It's okay. Do you want me to hit you? No, no, don't hit me. <laughs> Last time you hit me. I didn't mean to hit you. I meant to save you. Come on, you saved me. Okay, but I'm it's on you. Me. It's on you. You hit me and saved me. Did you get it? Oh, okay. Okay, mosquitoes like love a- that side of the show. <laughs> they don't love me. They don't like my pheromones. <laughs> And that's okay with me because... They love my energy. Mosquitoes? Oh my God, my feet are so dry. No, but your skin is so soft. No. It true. is. The other day when I touched it, I was like... I had a lot of it's oil. It's like silk. Day. <laughs> I was like, what is that? So what are you doing on Memorial Day weekend? I'm like, I'm at a loss. Um, what do you do on this weekend? Which is next weekend, no? Or is it this weekend? Is it tomorrow? Are you serious? I think Monday is off. Right. Today and Monday is off for yeah. the kids. Yeah. Like they need a day off with yeah. Zoom. Today. They've had like five months off <laughs> and paid and, and paid. paid. I mean, really, it's it's too much. Mm. I hope I hope they give us a refund. I got a refund from the college. I did not get any refund. I did. I got a refund for room and board, and I did not get any refund. You know, it's it sucks for the kids. Like this graduation stuff. And I know. It's sad. I mean, it's not. Like the other day, I was talking to your mom on the way to the bakery sale or whatever that we did. Um, on Sunday, last Sunday. Yeah, and yeah. she's like, you know, I don't believe that that's important because there's kids dying, there's kids that are hungry. My mom is always like, she has her own philosophy. I love her. Yeah, I love her. But yeah. look, the philosophy is not inaccurate. Yes, emotionally, it's sad, but in in the bigger picture. People are dying right now because they're hungry. Children are dying because they're hungry. So, yeah, if you put that into perspective, I agree 100% with your mom. 100%. And also, there's birthdays, there's weddings, there's pregnancies that that's gone through. And right, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that the student shouldn't feel sad that he ha- he can't like the stu- he can't have like your son Romy. Really. If he feels sad about not having a proper, you know. Celebration. Celebration. Right. He has the right to feel so. I think you I know? agree with you and Mr. Rogers we, would agree we with We can't live our life saying, oh, but I this person is, is dying and this person or is not, not eating. Or not this... tonight. No, yes. Not tonight. Feel, feel. Feel. It's okay to feel. It's yeah. the only way to free, your, to free yourself is to feel it all. Agreed. Don't nag. Yes. Don't, don't press. Don't don't complain twenty four seven. You can complain once, twice. Don't you, ever complain. Yeah, but but not to feel and, and say, oh yeah yeah, I'm not gonna complain. Everything is great. No. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big stiff upper lip girl. I mean, even if I'm dying, I'm smiling. So it it's hard for You're me. A fucking warrior. A hundred percent. I'm what you are. Cardi B is who I am. I like <laughs> Texas from my exes. <laughs> You bought this when you came to take my class at the right, at that place. Yeah, um, I love Cardi B. I think Cardi B is is funny, free, and does yeah, and because says she because she speaks her mind by that. And it's and that's you know freedom. That's there freedom. Is the only way to feel free is to be your you. fucking self. To be your, to, to know be who you are. You. And be who you, you don't are. have to know who you are, but be be you. Um, I think I think it's important to speak freely, and I think she does that. It's very important in 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 a very uh, unique way. Like one time she put on Twitter. I mean, I'm not a big follower of her, so I I, I don't love know. Yeah, Cardi. Like one time she put on Twitter, I have a turtle coming out my ass because she wanted to go to that, <laughs> and I thought that that was a little too much, but. You know, you gotta give her an A plus, man. She says whatever she wants. And when that man, baby daddy, dissed her in public, because he cheated on her. Oh, I don't um, know. whatever his name is, some very fancy name like Tenth Phase or something like right, that. Right. Whatever his right. name is. Um, he cheated on her. She's like number one rap uh girl in the world. They just had a kid, she's got all this surgery and all this, you know, she's extra. He humiliates her. She takes him back in Is she still with him? Wait, on, on a concert, he walks on, they make out in front of everybody. Whoa. Everybody Whoa. went bananas. And I thought, as much as I don't agree, that's gutsy. I don't agree with a cheater is always a cheater. Right. Period. The way if you cheat doing this, you're a cheater doing everything. 
Um, I feel like the fact that she took him back in public like that, and she's such a strong woman, was amazing. It's a lot of strength and courage. Uh, and, 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 and risk. And, and, and risk. She's yeah. risking her everything. And she did it. And she did it. I mean, to each its own, but she did it very publicly. To each its yeah. own, absolutely. Absolutely. Makes her, oh, I think that's my daughter. And yes, I really like that. I was like, they're staring at us. That's my car. Yeah, I was that's like, that's a nice by. car. Okay, so we're neighbors, <laughs> and I think my daughter is on her way to my mom's house. It's a beautiful <laughs> day in the neighborhood. It's so funny. I'm like, wait, that's my car. Well, I noticed they were staring. I'm like, driving by. Yeah, but with the house sign, you should see how many people. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Same. House sign on my house. So well. I can't even. But he's selling the house? Renting. He's renting. Yeah. Yeah. He comes every day. He's a bit of a perv. Oh God. What the hell is that? <laughs> These messages. <laughs> I didn't give you a message. I didn't send you. Is that a, a, my, uh, one, one of my students, she's like, uh, my body is hating me right now. I need yoga. I miss yoga. But I'm so busy with work. It's okay. Don't be harsh on yourself. But she could do tomorrow's class. She can't do tomorrow's class. She's the, she's the teacher. She's uh, working. I think we're all she's teaching. a hard, hard worker. Oh, yeah. You can see me all the way around. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay. What else is happening? New moon. New moon, but I don't understand anything about the moon. Okay. So, I think that I understand that as much as I understand God. Uh, so I don't, uh, so this is what I do. Uh, I never say no to things I don't understand. I respect things I don't understand. Yeah. You're open to understand. I'm, I'm, I'm open to everything. Of everyone. course. Me uh, too. And so I have my love crystal, my money crystal, my this crystal. I have so many crystals, crystals, but I didn't buy any of them. I did not know that about Maybe you. Maybe I, they're in my nightstand. I don't. I never bought a crystal. I never bought I was one. gifted. Like, they, right. I have like two crystals. That's so. more meaningful. So it's so funny. I was like, why are people giving me these beautiful rocks? I was like, that's so sweet. Because they're yeah, gorgeous. Apparently they're very powerful and they heal and all that stuff. So one of them, one of the gifts was uh, a rose quartz and it was... Um, rose quartz is love. With a, with a card that said, love. Magda, you have everything except this. And I want you to have this. And it was such a kind gift from a friend of mine. What's except this? You have a lot of love. Well, she meant a man love. Yeah, but it's not necessarily like like no, I intimate love. I am so blessed yeah. with love. Yeah, I'm very blessed with love, yeah. and I'm very lucky. But she meant a romantic. Right, right, right. And so I thought, wow, okay, that's very sweet. And so then my other friend gave me one for money, one for this one. So I take all of my beautiful rocks when there's a new moon, all of them. I take them to the same place outside where You're the moon shines. The... Oh no, nobody can touch these. Okay. You're not supposed to touch, you can't touch mine. Okay. And so then, yes, you take them to the beach and you wash them. Okay. And then uh, when you put them out, you set your intentions for, you know, the different avenues. And um, and the moon charges them and then you bring them back and it's supposed to be uh, a confirmation of your wish. Let me ask you a question. What has been your intention for the past weeks or months or, or all that? Do you mean since Cove? Since Cove, before Cove, after Cove. Whatever. My my intention always is uh, help right. first, um, love uh, all around in every way, and uh, prosperity. And that doesn't mean money. That means success. Mm -hmm. Those are my intentions. Sometimes when somebody's uh, sick or something, my intention is for them to get back to you. Uh, that's it. I, I never waver. Like I never change. Like it, when we're practicing, when we're in, when I'm in church or whatever, I never change my intention. It never changes. It might grow larger um, to encompass more human beings, but I'm pretty consistent. I think consistency is magic. Consistency is key. I mean, you wake up, we talk at six o'clock yeah. in the morning. You're up in the morning. You're in bed by nine. You eat the same thing. thing. It, it's there's a science to yes. this, guys. I mean, if you want to be successful, and 
it's so funny is people are like, are you a trainer? I should be. And yes, I am. But here's the thing. You train and you practice yoga the same way you live. Right. It's the same. It's, it's a way of living. A hundred percent. And when people you say, can't lie to you're yourself. fit. You can't lie to yourself. You're fit. Right. Well, you're fit. Right. Right. I'm going to go get some Don Julio. Um, tell them Not something. for me, my love. Oh, then I'm going to say because I just love you. No, not for me. I love you. Thank you. You're so Do you have a hot day? I wish. <laughs> you're going to get some. Um, so that's it. The intention. That's it. I haven't opened up to that department yet um i feel that you know it will come with time i i, I i'm just really fo- right now i'm really focused on on mimi yoga on being present okay. like being present like like this hour you know like this minute, now like now now you know uh and taking it day by day and things have been like moving smoothly thank god and quickly and quickly um also, you know, my priority is definitely my daughter, number one. Number two is my my Mimi Yoga. And Your soon, other daughter. Soon, my other baby, soon to be disclosed. I can't wait. Yes. How can I help? Thank you, my love. Your love, your, and honestly, I'm not saying that because we're on camera, but you are one of a kind, Magda. You are the only person, the only person that, not one day goes by and you just you don't even have to say i how are you you just say i love you that's it and i will cherish that till the day i die really from the bottom of my heart i love you, I love you. and now we're gonna start i know i'm like wait a minute i have makeup on and you know what i really want to you know, after we move, after we both move, we're, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in Miami. I'm not going to fly anywhere. No. But I would like to just both of us to drive, whatever, to Palm Beach. Let's to, go. And just spend a let's weekend. Go. And that's it. And let's turn go. off our phones. Let's go. And just really, we, we deserve it. 100%. We both deserve it. Because people see, and, and, and many of you, Many of you deserve it as well because we all have a story and we're all going through something. But people always judge from the outside. outside. Like the other day, I got this message on on Instagram, uh, like practice what you preach or something like that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, you're you're preaching like we're all the same and we're all this and your money is not important. And look at your backyard. And this person doesn't know me. This person doesn't know that. I have to move into a two-bedroom apartment next month. This person doesn't know that, you know, this house is temporary. Like, they don't this know. Part, this person they, doesn't know the responsibility they, that you they, carry on they, they judge before you even, and even, even if this is my home and I live there forever and all that, why, why send hate messages? You know? Well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of anger. This time has brought up a lot of insecurities in everybody in everybody and some people reacted and some people didn't react like it brought up my insecurities too sure. you know but as you said i'm happy for you for for working or, or making money in this time i'm happy for this person like, i don't i don't attack well and people are attacking well and it's only going to get worse because and in two weeks so um, much. there's no more protection from eviction um, oh, really? in two weeks, which means we're going to be living in a more crime. My love, the yeah. aftermath of this yeah. is going to show big time. time. Yeah. yeah, big time. So yeah. I, I agree with you. I mean, I got a really weird COVID message too from a lady. <laughs> I think I sent it to you. And it was so random and it was so angry. And I didn't respond because I was like, I felt sorry for her. And it was really stupid, but I think that there's a lot of jealousy and a lot of envy in this world before COVID. A lot before, before, before COVID. And before. now because of COVID, it's more amplified. I mean, in all honesty, Mimi, you are highly gifted, skilled beyond words, uh, talented, gorgeous, young, healthy, thank you, my loved God. by a great family. So all of that brings, unfortunately, 
some negative feelings. Yeah, it's look, there's a lot of good people out there and there's a lot of bad people out there. And and us being exposed That's on right. social media, if we have to take responsibility. The good with the bad. We have to take the good and the bad. That's and, right. And, and you know, in the beginning it bothered me her message and then I'm like, oh, oh, it hurts. It I'm hurts. Like, whatever. You know, it, it hurts. hurts. It is what it is. It's okay. It hurts. It does hurt. You know, one day she will be in my face and she will understand. Well, this is what I do when I get uh, weirdness like that. I, I think, what is that person going through? That that's what they did. Usually, it's it's they are reflecting uh, them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I, I have a really good friend that I respect, um, a guy friend, and I was talk I was talking to him last week. Is he week. single? He's single, but forget it. <laughs> he's, he's a brother he's like, he's like, all that. and I was I was like opening up to him and all that and, and I was complaining about a certain situation and he said Mimi it has nothing to do with you right this, this is what they're is, wondering. this is a reflection of this person right so don't and I said yes I understand but it still it hurts 100%. you know it still hurts and he's like don't let it get to you. Focus, stay on your lane. And it's so true. Like I always say, mind your own business. Here's the interesting and thing be kind. about your friend, what he said. And and this is this is for me, it's a survival skill, Mimi. It is. I put my head down, I don't look to this side, I don't look to this side, and I just keep going. Exactly. And it's it's almost yogic. It's, it is. It's almost yogic to it say, is. I'm gonna block everything out and I'm gonna get into that eagle no matter what. And sometimes you get off track and it's okay. Right. You know, we're human beings. We're not robots. But very important to stay on your own path. That's right. You know? That's right. It's so important. It, 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 it prevents you and everybody else from a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Just peace of mind. This is what we're all looking for is to, to have this peace, peace of mind. Peace. peace. And when you start really just kind of blocking that shit out, like, my God, when you quiet all that, what you can get done, everything, you know, you a can lot, get everything done. A lot, a lot. Sit in the quiet and listen. Listen. There's That's right. a lot, a lot to, to, to do when you're quiet. You know what's kind of funny about our little episodes? Even though we don't dress in coordination... <laughs> We end up, we end up wearing the same, the same You style. must have really good taste. <laughs> because, my God, it's so I funny. Do. I do. Maybe you sure oh do. Oh, my God. Speaking the first rich. episode, we were wearing white. And then the second, no, but the last episode, but we that were was, like in that red dress. Yeah. I'm going to buy everything me. red. I was in my yoga jumpsuit. Everyone's like, my day, you need to wear more red. Yeah, that, that was, was gorgeous on me. Yeah. Gorgeous. I'm gonna have to, black. I'm going to have to keep, well. The people at Shop Splash, which that's where I buy my clothes, Shop Splash, ask for you to tell her I sent you. Um, so funny. Um, they hate when I wear black. They're like, why are you always wearing black? You always wear black. My mom tells me the same thing. Why are you wearing black? Well, I love black. I, I mean, mean black, black is powerful. Black, in, in Arabic, we have a saying, black is the king of colors. I agree. The king of colors. It's you so can elegant. never go wrong with black. So elegant. I love wearing black. Love it. But I agree. And so when I wear one color, that's not yes. Everyone's like, "What? Exactly. You, 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 you shine. Like you shine. Yeah, exactly. that's why." Yeah. So I guess that's what's going on. But every time I wear red for any post or whatever, everyone's like, "Oh my god!" And I'm so I'm gonna invest. Um, yeah, it's been a great time with you. It is. It has been the best time. And so if you guys, so many more to come. One, well, we're gonna have it's to only the beginning. We're gonna, the change. It's gonna be a different change. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a different change. backdrop. A different backdrop. I uh, yeah, so we're gonna be on a balcony. We're gonna be on the I water. We're gonna be uh, in in beautiful places, and we want you guys to come. So if you love us, and I know you do, you need to press subscribe, and you need to drop comments. I already fixed it, so it's the Mimi and Magda show. Mimi goes before me because she speaks Lebanese. And, <laughs> and so you need to press subscribe and um, you need to drop comments. And also, if you guys want us to talk about something 
in particular. Yeah, let us know. Send us like send us an Instagram. This is our business card. Instagram <laughs> message. Me or Magda. Tell us you watch the episode <laughs> and you want to hear more about this or more about that or whatever you want, you guys. Right? We're here for you. We're having fun. We're just having a good time. And that's it. Also, I need to celebrate my birthday. I was thinking about that. This time last year, we were in Cuba. Yes, Memorial Day weekend. Holy shit. It was this weekend? Yes. We came back the third. We, we, left, we left the 30th and we came back the 1st of June or the 2nd of June. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was Memorial Day weekend, my love. Yeah. We had the best time. It was just beautiful. It was so beautiful. Okay, so we need to... I know we're not traveling. We're not the, the, the airplane... <laughs> I got on fire. Our airplane literally caught on fire. They... We could have... Yeah. Deplaned us. We went to fry TGIF. We had tequila. Tequila. And then we waited three more hours to ride to get on the next plane. And Cuba is only 30 minutes away from Miami. That was crazy. Yeah. That was time we spent. Yeah. We lost a lot of time. Like six hours in the we airport. We lost a lot of time. But that's okay. We made up for it in we had, California. We had, fun. we had fun. Yeah. And then yeah. we made up for it again in Harbor Island. Yes. Um, I love you. Love you more. Okay, guys. So you have homework. Drop comments. Love you guys. Drop comments. <laughs> oh, and give us topics because we're fun. See, we both have cutoffs at the same time. <laughs> it's romantic. <laughs>